You entered your Saturn return. Now what? Buckle up. Hey, I'm Dua Lipa, and Elle wants to know how radically optimistic I actually am. Check it out. You've been on multiple dates with someone, and then they ghost you. It's never a nice feeling. But something that I always like to say is like, it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. And what's meant for you will be. Your plane gets diverted to another city. I mean, for me, love. Because any excuse <laughs> to go exploring and, you know, see a new city, explore the culture, have a little holiday, you know me. While I was on tour, I was about to do a show in Lithuania and none of my costumes arrive on the day of the show. Not the easiest place to have all your cargo, basically, come in. Um, so my costumes were missing, so I had to go uh, dress up dipping in the dancer's wardrobe, which was really fun. They had some of the best stuff. When everyone gets one kiss at midnight, but you're single. Man, you know, I don't like this one because I feel like everyone wishes their singledom away. And I think your singledom is precious because it's in those moments where you really learn so much about yourself. I think also not having a kiss at midnight is fine because you have no idea how the year's gonna pan out. It's gonna surprise you. You're known to be such a good planner. What happens when it all falls apart? That's a good question. Um, sometimes panic, but I think for the most part, there's some things that you just can't control. So you have to learn to just roll with the punches. You just found out that your best friend and your boyfriend are having an affair. Right, both of them can f <laughs> Two people you just don't need in your life anymore. I think that's just what it is. I think they're doing you a favor. Any advice for moving on? Uh, I think you just have to just keep it moving. Like, just go out with your other friends, the good ones. Get someone to wingman you and introduce you to someone cute. Your car breaks down on the side of the road. I guess the only thing you can do is call AAA and respond to those messages you haven't or procrastinating on your emails like I do all the time. Maybe get onto those. If you've got a cute outfit on, good time to take selfies. Uh, you know, there's a lot, lot that can be done while you're waiting around. Okay, when your outfit slays but you just busted the zipper. Sometimes like a friend might have a, a, I don't know, a pin that could just help so you don't have to like ruin your night or sometimes an earring works to just like clip it back together to just keep you going. Sometimes it doesn't even matter. Maybe you don't, uh, you know, it doesn't really ruin your vibe. I've had uh, many a wardrobe malfunction. It was like my first ever support show was a Lollapalooza Chicago like um, pre-show and I was supporting the 1975 and I was wearing this oversized jumper and underneath I just had like bra and pants and I decided to put my mic pack. I don't know why on earth I thought that it would hold. <laughs> and so I was performing and dancing and my knickers were starting to fall. So as I was dancing, I was like, <laughs> <on> my pants. <laughs> um, I managed to get through the show um, somehow without them falling down to my ankles. But lesson learned. I don't know why I didn't use a strap or something. Uh, rookie, rookie era. You just found out your best friend is moving halfway across the world. I think, you know, everyone has their own path and their own journey. And I think you have to be so supportive of that. You know, it's also exciting. It means that your friend's gonna go and explore a new place and you get to go and visit them. And there's nothing quite like being shown around a place with a local. You're hosting a dinner party and everyone shows up early. I love throwing a dinner party. Very rarely does everyone show up early, but when they do, it's great because then you get an extra pair of hands. I have somebody helping me set the table while I'm checking on everything that's happening on the stove or in the oven, or I get somebody on the music, you know? It's, uh, it's great because then it becomes like teamwork. You entered your Saturn return. Now what? Buckle up. Because it's, uh, it's, it's a ride. It's a ride. It's fun and it's amazing and terrifying and it definitely kicks you out of your comfort zone and 
puts a lot of things into perspective and shows you what you don't need and shows you what you need. And I'm doing a lot of, a lot of growing and learning and expanding. I do love astrology. I'm a Leo. My rising is a Gemini and my moon is a Cancer. Make of that what you will. You find yourself on a string of bad dates. What do you do? I don't know, I think the best way is just like friend, friendly recommendation. Because then it comes from a reliable source. You're not just kind of going, you know, in it blind. I think that's the best way to, to meet someone. So just keep going, don't lose hope. You're swimming in the ocean and see a shark nearby. Relax, it's fine. It also makes for a really good album cover. I think the idea of remaining really calm when something is so much bigger than you, much more dangerous, um, in a body of water that's so vast and big and it makes you feel really small and, and kind of remaining calm and strong in the midst of that, I don't know, was really the message that I wanted to, to convey with the album cover. And yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's calm but it's chaotic for sure.